one's better is better, but Dr. Mann is the one still transmitting. You know? We've no reason to suspect Edmund's data would have soured. Accident is the first building block of evolution, but when you're orbiting a black hole, not enough can happen. It, it sucks in asteroids and comets to ah, events which would otherwise reach you. That's a good point. Further afield. Yeah. But maybe we've spent too long trying to figure all this out with theory. You're a scientist, Bran. So listen to me. No. Oh. When I say that love isn't something we invented, it's observable and powerful. Oh, okay. Yeah, imagine how bad the asthma is. I have a friend who could look at his lungs. <laughs> About? There, there was no need for him to come back. What? Did my father know? What? Did he leave me? Did you know? He told you, right? You knew. This was all a sham. Wait, I didn't know he was in this. The last time I went to sleep, I didn't even set a waking date. You have literally raised me from the dead. Lazarus. Indeed. Our world uh, is cold, stark, but undeniably beautiful. The days are 67 hours long, cold. Down at the surface, when there is a surface, the chlorine dissipates. The ammonia gives way to crystalline hydrocarbons breathable air to organics possibly even to life did my father know too dad i just want to know if you left me here to die dang i feel bad for her because i can see why that would be going through her head my father dedicated his whole life to plan a i have no idea what nah. she's talking about he just needed to convince them to get off the planet and spread the seed why keep building those because he, he knew how hard it would be to get people to work together to save the species instead of themselves that's a fact this isn't gonna cost you any time it's a chance for the people on earth talk to me gargantua is an older spinning black hole it's what we call that a gentle singularity. Oh, what's to say there isn't some way that the probe can glimpse the singularity and relay the quantum data? If he's equipped to transmit every form of energy that can pulse. Just when did this probe become a he, Professor? Damn, man, this is. I, I just can't get over this. This is really well made. And it's covering so much ground. You have attachments. Even without a family, I can. I promise you that that yearning to be with other people is powerful. That emotion is at the foundation of what makes us human. It's not to be taken lightly. Crazy. Like, I will say, when she was saying what she was saying about love, as I thought about it, I realized, oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. And I'm going to get into that in the review. That what they're saying is right. We're basically just organisms that have evolved to literally need each other. Our survival instinct is our single greatest source of inspiration. Right, right. Take and you, that's for that's what I was about to say. A father. Yep. With a survival instinct that extends to your kids. Yes. What does research tell us is the last thing you're going to see before you die? Your children. Tars, what's taking so long? Professor, I am having trouble completing the Buddha. I don't understand. What is happening? It's funny. What did he do? When I left Earth, 
I thought I was prepared to die. Nothing worked out the way it was supposed to. Let's go. What? What the fuck? I don't know why he's doing this. Once the others realize what this place isn't, we cannot survive here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Why you let him walk up on you like that? You should have been. I demand there's a 50 50 chance you gotta kill yourself. Those are the best thoughts I've had in years. Oh, come on, man. Fuck that doctor. Do you see your children? It's okay. They're right there with you. Really? Pneumonia. That's how she's gonna get him to leave by burning the crops. This data makes no sense. <laughs> this is, music is crazy, also, man. I'm sorry. What? Man, it's lying. Oh no, he's gonna kill him. Oh! The brother man had to go out like that. Do not attempt docking. I repeat, do not attempt docking. Please respond. Dumb son of a bitch, man. What a fucking idiot. See what I mean? Imperfect contact. That shit within millimeters if you don't make it. It's not going to work. Dr. Man, listen to me. This is not about my life or Cooper's life. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. That explosion was gut-wrenching. For there to be no sound, you literally just watching it happen like. What's he gonna attempt to do? Dog, if he's able to do what I think he's trying to do. <laughs> Yo, come on now. This nigga's the greatest pilot of all time if he do that shit. Dang, they done passed out. Whew. This shit's so epic, dog. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah. Killing man engines. Okay, we're out of orbit. <laughs> that was so motherfucking epic, yo. <laughs> Red into gargantuous pool. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Take the stick. Shall I use main engines? No. We're gonna let it slide as far as we can. Oh. The backup generator kicked in, so the system's stable. They're all good. Oh. Okay. Good, good. Just sucking in everything. Ooh. Oh, oh, Ranger two, prepare to detect. What? No, no, Cooper. Three, Cooper, what are you doing? Moon third law. They gotta leave something behind. You told me we had enough resources for both of us. How did not see that coming? Told you need horizon. Right. Port side, dipping down beneath it. It's like I guessed it, but I was like, okay, maybe it's not gonna happen right this moment, but. Uh, going down. Uh,
Oh, the fuck. Yo. Whoa, what the fuck? It's actually in some place. Wait, is this the uh the beings that attempted to help us? This is so eerie because it's stationary yet it's all moving. Does that make sense? Like that's creepy. That's like some shit from a uh dream or something. Wait, that's the room. That's the books. Okay, yeah, like what I thought. This is him talking to her a little bit. But why there? Why do you end up there? Is it because when you're about to die, you see your kids? Like he said? He has to do something else, so that way it'll be in our memory. Don't let me leave, Murph. Don't let me leave, Murph. Damn, he's saying that the same way as he was saying, don't, when he was laying there like, don't let me leave like this, Murph. We survived. Somewhere in their fifth dimension, they saved us. Oh, okay. I don't know, but they constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality. That's why it doesn't make sense. Yeah, they, it's moving and being still at the same time. They didn't bring us here at all. Hmm? That's what he wrote on the floor. It's not a ghost. They didn't choose me, they chose her. For what, Cooper? To save to the save world. Save the world. Yeah. Powers, translate the data into Morse and feed it to me. Translating data to Morse. Cooper, what if she never came back for it? She will. About to have a single tear. Don't you get it yet, Tars? They're not beings. They're us. What I've been doing for Murph, they're doing for me. For all of us. Oh, that's hit. She touched hands with him. You, sir. It's uh, it's named after your daughter. Oh, after the daughter. Okay. Maintained. Just how important you were. And she's still alive. She'll be here in a couple weeks. Everybody else back then. I mean, it just wasn't enough food. They made it a museum. Damn. She old as hell. I knew she was one of them. I knew she was one of the ones talking on the thing. I knew that. No parent should have to watch their own child die. I have my kids here for me now. That's crazy. His grand, his great grandkids is probably older than him at this point. <laughs> She's out there. Oh. Oh, setting up camp. Maybe right now she's settling in for the long nap. By the light of our new sun. First, let me start by saying, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell. Shout out to all the new viewers. Shout out to all the subscribers. And if you would like, I've started a Patreon where you can get full reactions to videos just like this. Let's see. I want to break this down into like three different parts, right? Let's start with the beginning. At the beginning of this, you're under, you, they did it real subtle. You understand, okay, we're in a future time somewhere where the 
vegetation is gone so there's a bunch of dust everywhere and they like i said they were real detailed with it it was just a layer of dust everywhere they were doing these little things that let you know oh this is the future and it's like kind of close and it's it could be familiar so one in particular was when they're when he goes to the school meeting to talk about murph and the teacher is like basically saying yeah we're she brought in a book that's still talking about that stuff that we don't teach or believe in anymore right she was like we know that the space race was fake it was just a way to uh bankrupt the the russians the soviets and i was like holy shit <laughs> i'm like youtube is taking over like that was that was cool because it wasn't like a they didn't play it as a joke they didn't play it as, it was like no no this is what these people believe now right then we get to the part where they receive the map coordinates and they go and you realize okay it's norad or whatever but when they get there he's talking and he's talking to this robot and the way they did tars was dope because for one you see it, it's like oh that's futuristic but it's it's sturdy and it's practical and the way his voice is is not robotic at all and then they were like oh and he was a marine unit and i was like oh that's actually that's pretty cool right like i i enjoy those little moments like that um the actors at the beginning so for instance that little girl like i said i feel like she's gonna be a star one day the teenage boy he did what he did the acting was all good at the beginning though there was a few things i picked up on and i kind of thought so when they kept showing the older people at the beginning i'm like is one of these kids going to be the one of these older people but then that goes away because you're enthralled into the story okay boom into the story then uh i'm thinking is that the dad once we get to the point where they're inside nasa i'm like is that the dad talking to her through some space time continuum thing like that right and okay but once again you get enthralled into the story that goes to the wayside and they did a real good job at that especially this being as long as it is any sort of theories you have kind of go out the way because you're so into what's going on okay when he finds out about nasa it was funny because yo you know he is who he is dope pilot and they had to convince him at no point did i think it was a lie at all at no point i just assumed the stakes are super high okay the stakes are super high that doesn't really mean that doesn't really mean much right um i do like the science behind all of this they're like we have to go find a place we sent out i think uh 12 pods or whatever and we're going to respond basically to the most the place that's dense with the most of them right um basically triangulate between those three those main three that they were getting word back from and i'm like okay it's cool then we get to a next part the next part is the travel and the space and all all of this it was done well everything about this seemed familiar and it seemed like we're close to it and that's the type, excuse me <clears throat> that's the type of futuristic stuff i like to see like for instance, we have films like Arrival, we have films like Contact, we have films like this where it's like, wait, there's some beings trying to communicate with us or give humanity a little nudge and help them on their way. I enjoy films like that. It's ever since I was a kid, I always wondered, you know, about the whole us being alone in the universe and stuff like that. So when they're like, yo, there's a tesseract or a wormhole and we we're going to utilize that for the travel. And then they break down how the travel is going to take place, right? You're, you basically are going to go all the way to Saturn, slingshot around. Uh, well, you're going to go through Mars, slingshot around Mars, get to Saturn, then go to the wormhole. I'm like, hey, I'm all, I'm all for this, right? Like, I, I don't care if it's true or if it can't be true. The way they explained it to a lay person like me, I'm like, okay. I rock with that. Um, once again, one of the big themes in this was the ability for humanity to get on board with the push for the push of science. 
So the that doctor brand, the the older one, he says basically like humans don't want to, you know, they're gonna they don't want to spend money on space travel. It's hard to convince them. And as soon as he said that, I thought about Neil deGrasse Tyson because Neil deGrasse Tyson talks about this all the time. How exploration leads to this boom in sciences and knowledge that we gain, and it's hard. It's really hard to tell people who are struggling, hey, we need to spend billions of dollars on trying to figure out how to let humanity survive. And they're like, I need to survive. What about me and mine? We need to survive. And that comes back into play later on into this. So there's a point at this second part of this film where Anne Hathaway's character, she's she's saying, hey, we need to go to a place. And... uh. My man says, Cooper, he says, hey, is the love, you You need to tell him right now. You you love him, right? Okay, boom, she loves him. And I'm going like, oh, okay, whatever, we bringing love into this. But by the end of this, I got what they were doing. This is all about saving humanity. So it requires humanity to save itself. But here's the thing about humanity. It has these little, <laughs> these little quirks, these little things about it that we have to deal with no matter what. Love is one of them. Caring about our, our own, that's one of them. Our own survival, that's one of them. Like, this is one of those things, like when it comes down to it, we're organisms trying to survive. But over time we've evolved in trying to survive. It is this thing inside of us that's like, you must protect your own. You have to care about your own or love you know what i mean this thing that bonds you to something someone else and to see her be a scientist go through what they went through and still have that draw then to see matt damon's character go through everything he went through and and just become a evildoer in the midst of all that thinking i know what's best i don't care who i gotta kill to take down it's like we we were watching humanity it, 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 in fact, the storyline became secondary to the, the main plot came, became secondary to what each character was going through on their own. I felt bad for the black dude who, when they went around the black hole to the planet that's near it, because of relativity, one hour on there equals seven years there, seven years from around there. They go through that thing with the wave. Let me say this about this film. There was epicness in this. It was, there was points where I'm like, oh no, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like I'm dead into this. The music is playing. That wave scene was horrifying. It's like a dream. And I'm like, oh shit. And she fucked up. She knew she fucked up. But then it gets even more horrifying when they get back. And I realized that man had been there for 23 years. And they let it be known in this little scene how he felt about even being out in space. Think about it. He had to go through that. And they're like, well, why you didn't just go into cryo? And he's like, I did a few times. <laughs> it's, it's been that long. He's like, I just assumed y'all weren't coming back. Man, you know what I mean? That's, we getting back into that humanity, right? It's like, fuck. And he just, you see that he was this assured scientist. And little by little, he just, you would see him like this, you know, either with his beard. It, I won't say it broke him down, but you can see it had worn on him. Then we get to that final part where, like I said, Matt Damon's character did what he did. And the epicness of the explosion, no sound. And you're just horrified. Like, oh, come on, dog. Then I'm like, what are they going to do? No later did I think that. My man is like, he tell Tars, hey, I need the coordinates. We're going to spin along with this and we're going to attach. I'm like, yo, if he do this, this is motherfucking the greatest pilot ever. And he completes it. Okay. Then we go, he wants to go near the black hole. They're going to get drawn to the event horizon. And then he played it as if, oh, we're going to, we had one plan, but he just started dropping off different. He dropped off Tars. He dropped off Brand. And he goes and does what he does. And it ends up that, of course, he was the ghost. The ghost. And he was showing his daughter what to do. And so she used her memory and, and she figured it out. 
Morse code, the watch. Now I will say there's a point where they're inside what they're inside of. And like I said, they did this dope thing where it looked like everything was in motion, yet everything is standing still. So it was this thing of a mashup of gravity, time, and space <laughs> all in one. And there's this fifth dimension, but they broke it down to where we could see it in three dimensions. And I'm like, oh, holy shit. My mind's about to explode. But then we get to that end part, and I'm just. I know I'm missing something, but this movie is very long and I'm doing this directly after uh, watching it. So you got to forgive me. But once he gets to the station and I realize and we find out that, OK, she was the old lady talking or whatever. They they did save mankind. It made me just wonder, like. What was he going to do? And when she tells him basically, hey, no, no parent needs to see their kid die facts right and then she lets her know about brand and my man is like he's gonna go save her but that would mean he would have to go back through gargantua gargantua and go get her at that time that right is that what would have to take place yo this is a very good movie i liked it it, it touched on a bunch of different things and it had me dead into it i felt everything there was epicness. The music as it played, as I think about it, the type of music it was using, I just wouldn't expect it to be there, but it it was with the mood. I like this. And once again, I did expect Matt David to be in this. Um, like I said, Anne Hathaway, she's been killing it forever at this point. Um, McConaughey, he is who he is. You know what I mean? He gets down. And everyone killed it in this. I really... This is really interesting, man. I, I like, I enjoy films like this. Yeah, next movie.